Hello my friends, it is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another one of those just getting all the random things done. Although today, I wanna to scale it back a little bit. So over the weekend, it's Monday by the way, over the weekend, like we went to town and hauled in so many boxes and totes, basically filled up our storage room with all my seasonal decor, Christmas, fall, all the good things, and all like my wall art and wall decor is here. So it's just a lot of hauling and loading and up and down the stairs. I woke up this morning so sore, I am so out of shape. So I'm like, I think today we just need to scale it back a little bit and just not do as much and still enjoy the day. So I'm just having my coffee here this morning. The guys are outside working here again today. So my last video, they were outside working and then it rained and snow and it was so windy the next two days that they just, they couldn't be here working. So they were able to come inside on Thursday and do all the blue tape and finish that up. All of just like the um, tiny little things that needed to be fixed. So they, I think they're, like done on the inside of our house it's mainly just finishing up the outside the sun is out it's going to be i think a really nice week for getting a lot of those things done so anyways hooray for the inside work being done it feels really good also had a really fun delivery on thursday of last week our counter stools came so i'll share with you those and we'll just do like odds and ends today i feel like is the plan because i don't know how much i can handle today i just actually text so we got a couple of fencing quotes and i um, just messaged one of them to say we'd like to proceed but we want to have a couple of changes to make but this is going to be the the dog area with a little deck here for grills and things like that. I cannot wait until this is done. I just got done washing Charlie's paws for the millionth time. We're also trying to finalize our landscaping this week. Uh, we've found the company. We have have like a bunch of sketches we're going off of. It's just a matter of making those fine-tuned details, uh, picking out like certain pavers and things like that. So hopefully by the end of this week, we'll have that all nailed down. You know, as soon as things start, start warming up here, it's like go time for landscaping and all the outside work. So we just really wanna get on their calendars. And so it's not fall by the time they are getting to our house. So things are coming together. I say that in every single video, but it seems like everything's finally falling into place. We got our garage somewhat tidied and organized over the weekend, so that feels so good because when we unloaded the pod, it was a complete disaster out there. I also, when I was unpacking this weekend, I came across more of my books that I like to put on my shelf. So I might add these to my shelves by the fireplace just to get them off my desk, one, but two. That was one thing I really wanted to add more of. Are you guys sick of seeing these shelves already? I feel like I've spent way too much time on them. In my last video, reading the comments, I learned there's uh, different types of people when it comes to decorating. There's one end of the spectrum where we want to just fully decorate every single shelf, um, put all the things on it, and they look good. And then there's others who are like, less is more, keep it simple, uh, don't put too much on there, we don't want it to look cluttered. And I'm feeling I'm trying to find that right balance right in between those two where I want them to be decorated and be cute, but don't want it to be packed and I don't want it to look bare, so. Yeah, we're, we're slowly getting there. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. A new man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt Get me up, so in it, somewhere I can find myself Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so alive As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky 
load of clothes. I still have one more basket to go, but folding what was in the dryer for now. I used a lot of beach towels when I was wrapping things and packing them, so they just needed to be washed. But I wanted to show you this drawer because if you remember, I had asked, I think it was before we moved in, what do you think I should put in this drawer? And a lot of you had so many good ideas, like paper products, I mean, that was probably a close second. Beach towels though, I have always struggled to find a really good place for those and they fit perfectly in this drawer. So that was um, amazing. And in this one, I just have a lot of my extra ruggable rugs in here right now, trying to figure out where to put them, but I just needed somewhere to get them out of the way and where I know where they'll be. So rugs in there. Next on my list for today is to finally get this mattress out of our room and up into the top bunk of the twins' beds. It's time. A big thank you to Birch for sponsoring today's video. So my husband and I actually already have a Birch mattress, which is on our bed. It is amazing. But today I wanted to talk to you about the kids' mattress that just came out. This twin one is actually going to go to Andrew who has, he needs to be upgraded on his mattress so, so bad. All the other kids have like super nice mattresses, but he was in desperate need of one. So I am going to need my husband's help to get this upstairs onto the top bunk. So I'm just going to prepare it in the meantime. But this mattress, let me tell you, it's genius. I love the idea. So it's a flippable mattress. One side is more firm for the younger kids who, you know, you want that firm mattress and then when you flip it over it's softer for the older kiddos it's amazing i love that idea so i'm going to rewind a couple of weeks ago to when this mattress first arrived i'm just always so amazed with how a mattress could fit inside a box and it's always so satisfying to see it inflate to its full size. It's one of my favorite parts. But anyways, a little bit about this mattress. So the Birch Kids Natural Mattress, which is what I'm going to be showing you today, is made with certified safe and non-toxic organic and natural materials, which makes it both hypoallergenic and also naturally fire retarded. Each Birch mattress also comes with two of their Eco Rest pillows, which are made with 100% recycled fill and an organic cotton cover. Now the two-sided feature, like I mentioned earlier, is such a great idea. I just love it with the firmer side being for the kids ages three to seven and the softer side for eight to 12 years old. So Andrew is six, so I'm planning to start him on the firmer side for now and then we'll just flip it over as he gets older. So on his next birthday, Birch does offer a 100 night sleep trial so you can try out the mattress with complete confidence and just make sure it's a right fit. There's also a 25 year warranty and they also offer fast and free shipping right to your front door. I really do love knowing that Andrew has a high quality mattress that he's getting a comfortable night's rest and it's something that can just really grow with him as well. Mattress is all ready to go and I also washed his bedding while I was waiting for my husband to get home. But I am going to make his bed really quick and then we'll move on to more adventures around the house. But if you're in the market or looking for a new mattress for your kids, definitely check out Birch. I just think that's like the coolest idea ever. <laughs> but I'll have my link down below. If you click on the link, it will save you 20% off of your Birch mattress. Plus you'll receive two free pillows. I would have to say making the top bunk bed is like on the list of one of my least favorite things to do. So it feels nice to have this done. Glad that is done. It looks nice for now. <laughs> It'll soon get all destroyed. But I had a couple of questions before I move on on the bunk beds and how we are liking them. Really, really like them. They're really nice quality and I'm not just saying that. So my dad actually picked these up for us when he was on a trip. He saw them in their Costco and he's like, Crystal, I know you're looking for bunk beds. I, these are here, they were on clearance and 
I mean, and he's a pretty picky guy, so I knew that it was going to be nice. And so, yeah, I would recommend these if you want bunk beds. I like the setup, and as you can see too, the, the gap between the two beds is really nice, so you can actually like sit and enjoy the bottom bunk without hitting your head. So, I mean, perfect for really all ages of kids, even adults. I can easily sit on here without hitting my head, which is really nice for like reading stories and books and things like that. So, yeah, really happy with these. This area had so much traffic coming through all weekend with us hauling all the things in. So many little rocks. Oh, I cannot stand the little rocks. That's probably my biggest pet peeve. Not even dirt, it's the little rocks. And then it's like that sun, that fine sandy grit that falls off of the shingles. That's what I find mostly. So quick vacuum, I'm also washing the rug because it was so dirty. I mean, yeah, it needed a good washing. So I'm washing rugs. Clean this area up just a little bit. And once I get this hung, I'll do some, I'll quickly mop through here. But when we brought home these mirrors yesterday, I came across this one. Now this one's from Kirkland's. And I think it's perfect to go on this wall because we don't have any windows over here. And of course it looks like a window. So I think I'm gonna to try to hang that. I grabbed this blue tape. I'm going to try the blue tape trick to get it hung on the wall. I've actually never done that little hack, but I think it makes a lot of sense. Okay, so I'm just going to do tape between the two little hangers here. And this backwards. Okay, so I put the tape on, and now I'm just going to take a permit marker and mark where I want my uh, nails or screws to go into the wall. I used a tape measure to center it on the wall, and then I also pulled out my baby level. <laughs> and made sure it was level. So now I just need to drill my holes and I think we'll be good to go. First official item on the wall. I think it looks really good. It's exactly what I was envisioning. Just something very simple, but nice to have a mirror when you're leaving to head out the door just to double check, make sure you look okay, right? So yeah, I don't know if Kirkland still sells this, but if they do, I will link it down below. It's a very simple mirror, but it's so pretty. I love it. And then I thought I would show this side with you. When I was decorating last week and I pulled out this home sign, like, oh, that might be really cute in my cubby by in the mudroom. So I put it here with a plant, of course. So that's like the first thing you see when you walk in the door. But yeah, super happy with that. And of course my rug, you can hear it in the washing machine right now. Once that is dry, I'll put that back out. But it has hints of green in it, which is really pretty up against this cabinetry. I am convinced that our contractor and his guys think I'm crazy they have to 
<laughs> I'm constantly just back and forth through the windows as they're working. So I just went into the laundry room to rotate and put my rugs in the dryer. And of course there's someone standing right there. I'm like, okay, I don't really want to fold my underwear that was in the dryer while he's looking in trying to work around the window. So I carry the pile into our closet and throw it all on the floor. I'm like, okay, we'll sit here and fold. This is actually kind of nice. And then all of a sudden you hear beep, beep, beep. And then the guy on the lift truck comes over to those windows. Instead of like crouching down in a corner, like please don't see me. Oh, it's, it's funny. I'm sure they get it a good laugh out of it and they probably hear me talking to myself inside here but anyways I almost need to leave to go pick up the boys from school and so I thought before I go do that I better show you our new counter stools that we got so I originally ordered different ones um, they were wooden and I was really nervous about the wood tone just because when you're trying to like coordinate with like wood floors and wood beams and I was just kind of worried all along, but I'm like, you know, it's going to be just fine. Well, anyways, they kept pushing back their own back order. They just kept pushing back the date. And it got to, I think, the end of July. I don't want to wait all summer for counter stools. Like, we want to start using it now. So I went ahead and canceled those and reordered new ones. I did a ton of research on them. It was really hard to decide on which ones to get. I just was not finding what I was looking for. I don't even know what I was looking for, but I just nothing was, I don't know, calling my name and saying, Crystal, these are the ones. So anyways, I did a bunch of research and I found these and I feel like they perfectly match the space. So they have a woven texture to them. They're more like an outdoor stool, but everybody uses them inside from Ballard Designs. What are they called? The Bailey stool. Bailey stool from Ballard Designs. They're beautiful with our floors. I feel like they were almost meant to be. They just add that texture to the kitchen that it was missing. I will also link these down below in the description box, but super happy with the texture that they bring to this space. They have like a grayish brown look to them. In one of my Facebook groups, they said that, I mean, you could easily power wash these off if you wanted to, just because they have kind of like that outdoor material look to them or feel. The cushions actually come off and I can toss those in the washing machine as well. So that's really nice. And how amazing that we finally have four of them. So no more fighting because we only had three in our other house. So just this in general, having four counter stools has been a lifesaver. And I really feel like they work well up against the black bar. So yeah, first I was like, ooh, I don't know. But once I put all four of them together and up at the counter, I'm like, yes, they're perfect. I love them. Quick look at them from this angle too. The next item on my list to get ordered Ideally, I'll get it ordered this week sometime is a rug for a living room. I really cannot decide. So I had one ordered and it was on back order with no ship date in mind. So it could have been three months, could be six. I don't really know. So I last night I decided just to cancel it because I don't even think it was the right size. It's a nine by 12, but I think we need a 10 by 14. I think it might be a better fit for our space and the sectional and how it looks. So I need a larger rug, which takes out ruggable. They do not offer that size. And a lot of the larger ones I'm finding, I'm like, gosh, I don't know. Like, do I spend a lot of money or do we go super cheap and see how it works? I'm really going back and forth. So those are the things that keep me up at night now, but <laughs> But it's all good. It is all good. I'm just so thankful with how everything is coming together. So I'm going to go get the boys. I think we actually might go down to the pond when we get home. It's a really nice day. And by really nice, it's 47 out. But it's sunny and it's not windy. But I feel like we need to get out and just enjoy the sun for a little bit. And take advantage of a non-windy day because those are quite rare around here. Oh, yeah. We won't grab those things. We'll go down by the... Oh, oh. <laughs> we'll leave those. That's heavy. Come this way. Let's walk down to the pond for a litter first, okay? Hey, I found one. Let's go to the pond first. It's wood. Yeah, we'll get that when we come back. Let's go to the pond. Is it muddy or dry? Dry. Dry? That's good. Yeah. 
Let's go search in the grass. Good. Trash. Yep, pop it in. Weird. Very weird. I found some. Oh. oh yes, good job. Table. Perfect. But, Mama, it's what do we do? It says bags in the pond. We oh. won't go into the pond. Yes, you can grab that. We had lots of flooding with the quick ice melt and all the snow we got. So our dock is Mama. not in good shape. It was completely submerged like a week ago. Uh, and the water levels are slowly going down. Uh, Look at the duckies. It is the golden hour when the sun really shines into this part of the house. And this is also the time where I notice how dirty my floors actually are. So I'll probably take a vacuum and run through the house here. I actually need to leave here soon to go pick up Macy from gymnastics, gave the boys their baths, and we're gonna test out the new mattress. We're going, here we go. Okay. The moment of truth. I wanna know what you think. Okay. Lay down. Get under your covers, test it out, okay. test it out. Let me take this pillow off. This pillow right there. It's a process when you have all those stuffies up there. Oh yeah, what do you think? Good.